Welcome back. I'm Sandra Lee, and today is all about an Italian garden party. It's a little fancy one, but all the recipes that I'm going to make for you, especially this dessert, you can make anytime you want. Now, this is just some orange liqueur, and I have some biscotti, packaged biscotti from the grocery store. Now, I need to pull out some peaches. I have already thawed these out. These came frozen, and a little bit of mascarpone, and some whipped topping. Okay. Now, into a bowl, I just want to put some of these peaches with all of the juice. Don't drain the juice out. And then we're gonna put in a little bit of our orange liqueur. Just pour that right over the top. Yum. Okay. Now I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna tear just a little bit of tarragon and that's gonna give it a nice, fresh, yummy flavor. And no one will know that you used frozen peaches. Now let's just give this a nice little stir. Now, if you don't want to use orange liqueur, you can use a peach nectar, a nice juice, and you can get those gorgeous canned juices where they sell juice in the grocery store. Now, what I want to do is take an entire container of mascarpone cheese. I love mascarpone. It's thick and it's delicious. And in desserts, you would know mascarpone because that's what they use when they make tiramisu. You could even make cannoli cream with this. That would be good. All right. Now, I want to put in here a little bit of sugar, and we're going to cream this all together. Now, I'm a little bit afraid of this. I cannot get messed up because I don't even have time to change. So, let's turn it on and get rid of as much. And that's why you want to cover your clothes up. Okay. Now I just want to spread this around the bowl because what goes in here next is an entire container of whipped topping. And you can use, by the way, if you want to, a low fat whipped topping. Towel. Okay. Now I want to do my bag trick. I'm just going to take a couple plastic bags. One I need actually to chop up the biscotti. And the other one I'm going to use to pipe the mousse into my parfait glasses. Now, I'm going to put all of this in here. And I need a big spoon for that. And just using a bag to pipe this into your glasses not only makes it prettier, but it makes it easier. And then what I want to do is just snip my edge, take that off, and then so we'll put that in there, and then I want to top this with some of these peaches and make sure that you get that orange liqueur in here. Ugh. Mmm. So good. Into another bag. I'm just going to open this up with my little scissors. I'm going to put a couple biscotti cookies. About four of them should be plenty. And these are almond biscotti cookies. And then crunch these up. Great. So I have my cookies. I'm going to open this back up. Now on the top of this, what you want to do is pipe just a little bit more of this mascarpone. And by the way, this tastes like the most unbelievable cheesecake you have ever had. Now on top of that, I'm just going to put some of my biscotti cookies. Yum. You have to go on Food Network's website and get this recipe. It's so delicious. Now just some sliced almonds on here. This gives it great flavor and great texture. It's perfect, especially with those almond biscotti cookies. And I've got to taste this. Now when I come back, I'm going to make you a melon mint prosecco that is perfect for my beautiful tablescape. It's refreshing just like my tablescape. And that's coming up right after the cocktail time. I'll see you back here in just a second. 